Hey everybody, welcome back to the GitHub Projects demos. It's been a little while since I recorded my last video. Anyway, I figured I'd show you about a nifty little feature called templates. If you've watched the rest of the videos in this series, you'll remember that I did a lot of customization to get everything working the way I wanted. For example, adding a bunch of new tabs, adjusting views, and adding entirely new views. Anyway, it was a fair amount of effort, and well, if you had to do that for every new project you created in GitHub, that'd be pretty freaking annoying, right? So there's this feature called templates. You actually saw the templates feature in one of the first demos I did in this series back when I was creating a new project. So let me show you that feature again. You see it when you create a new project. I'll just click the new project button. And here's the create project dialog. Keen-eyed observers will note that the word template is all over this dialog. Over here on the left, there's the featured template section. This list shows you the templates that are available for you to choose from. So that's the list of templates. And that's all I want to show you about that for right this moment. Let's go back to the demo project. If we like this project format, if we like the customizations we've created, we can capture this as a template with just a couple of clicks. The first thing you do is come up to the menu for this project. Click the button to bring up the context menu. And then there's a menu item that says copy as template. Click on that copy as template menu item and then you should see the copy as template dialog. Choose the owner for this template from the owner list. Actually, that just auto-magically populated when I hovered my mouse over it. You've got an option to capture any draft issues that are in this project. That could be helpful if you wanted any new project to start with some default items. But I'm gonna leave that unchecked. And now we'll give this a name. The dialog says new project name, but it should probably read as template name. Anyway, I'm not gonna to be too fancy here. I'll just name this scrum template. I'm happy with that name and the settings I've picked. So I'll click the copy as template button. That puts me into this view of the template that you see here. It looks kind of a lot like a new project, except that there's a button in the upper right that says use this template. Let's go click on that use this template button. Clicking that button brings up a dialog that will let you create a new project. So this would let you create a new project from that template. But for the purposes of the demo, I'm going to cancel out of this and do this a different way. I'll click Cancel on this dialog and then open the list of projects in a new browser tab. Here's the New Project button again. I wanted to show you how to create a project using that template in the way that you're probably most likely to use. Click on the New Project button and you get the Create Project dialog. And there's a new section at the bottom of the dialog that says From Your Organization. And in that section, here's our Scrum template. There's another way to see your templates. Just click on the From Your Organization item in the left side menu bar. So like I said, there are a couple ways to get to your custom templates. Click on that Scrum template link. And now here you are on the Create Project dialog. It looks kind of different and it gives you an overview of the views, fields, workflows, and reports, aka insights, that are part of the template. So the big thing you need to do on this dialog is to give it a name. I'll call it Scrum Demo 2025. Then come down to the bottom of the dialog and click the Create Project button. And that's it. You get dropped into your new project that's based on that template. All those same views and column customizations are all here. And you're ready to get going with your new project. That was kind of a quick demo, but hopefully you found it useful and at least minimally interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching. And if you're feeling wildly generous, please consider clicking like and subscribe. That's it for now. Stay tuned for more.